Hello, I'm Jackie. And I'm Camille. Welcome, Welcome to, to Two Studios, Studios Art, Art Channel. Channel. Hit like and subscribe to get our free demos and tutorials right to your inbox. Happy painting! Hello everyone, I'm Jackie from Two Studios Art. And today we're going to do an eight step, step by step painting of a Tuscan scene with lavender and sunflowers. The paints I'm using today are Opus Essential Acrylic Colors from Opus Art Supplies. The colors we're using today are Cadmium Yellow Light, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Cadmium Orange, Cadmium Red Light, Primary Red, Quinacridone Magenta, Permanent Violet, Ultramarine Blue, and Thalo Blue, and of course, White. We will be mixing a lot with White today too. I'm using three brushes. My one inch angled shader, which is really good for getting nice lines in. My flat brush, size zero, which will help me do the little houses. And my size 16 filbert, which is one of my, one of the brushes I like to use a lot along with the angled shader. So let's get started. I'm working on an 8 by 10 inch canvas board and I've got my paints all ready to go. So let's get started. I have my water, my paper towel, and we'll start by just blocking in using ultramarine blue and white for the sky. So that's my ultramarine blue and white from the sky. A little bit of purple got in there. That's okay. We'll just take that out a bit. The colors do tend to mix because they're close together on the palette. So the ultramarine blue for the sky with some, some white. You can use thalo blue if you like as well. Here, I'll put a little bit of thalo in there and you can see the difference. The thalo is a little bit more turquoise. -y. So there we go. So there's, there's a beginning sky. This is going to be a very happy painting. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is with some pastel colors, I'm going to paint in the hills. I'm going to mix up a little violet first. There's a little violet with the permanent violet and the white. And I'm going to just kind of quickly, quickly sketch in some hills. The Tuscan hills seem to roll on forever and they do fade into violet the farther away they get. So, but we're going to be doing a number of different hills because there are many, many hills in the Tuscan environment. I'm not going to copy this exactly. It's just to keep me on track with a little bit of the, keep me on track with the uh, proportions of the painting. So there we go. So that could be a hill over there. So I'm going to do pastel colors for the hills. Maybe a bit of yellow in the distance with some white, of course. Mix the two yellows, mix a little bit of white in there, and I might fade that yellow down a little bit more later on. Maybe get a nice yellow hill in there, and a yellow hill in there. These hills could be anything. They could be wheat fields, they could be grass, hay, there's a little bit of orange mixed in there. And you can just have fun. You can do any colors you like, actually. It can be brighter. You can mix the colors in one field. I'm going to bring that one down a little bit more. It, you, it's not exact. You just can mix, match, just, just to get the idea that there, Tuscany is a land of many, many hills. All right, I'm going to mix up a little bit of pink. Maybe a couple of pinks with my primary red. There's one pink. And get a little bit of the pink hills in. The soil can look quite pink at times. Maybe deepen that pink a little bit. So you can just have fun painting in those hills. It doesn't have to be ex the exact same because I'm not copying this. I'm just using it as a 
a reminder. Yeah, just, just a reminder of what I'm trying to do. And that is give the impression of hills. So I'm going to maybe mix up on a different pink with the uh, quinacridone magenta. You'll get a different pink from the primary red and go over a few of these hills too. You can add some more and the very distant fading into the sky. There we go. And I'll get this, get a little bit more cadmium red light into that orange and get some brighter ones, brighter fields. I can always tone them down if I find they're, they're too, uh, too bright. I can always tone it down with yellow. I can tone it down with white. Just, I just really want to get a feeling of the hills. The hills that seemingly go on forever. So this is a fun painting. I'm going to extend that yellow field a little bit further down. There, a little bit further down there. Later on, we'll be doing quite a bit of yellow for the sunflowers. So I'm still working. If this is half the canvas, I'm still working on the, the top. The hills are in the top part of the... So I like that purple there. I might get a little bit more of that. Mix some more of that purple in. A bit of purple. I like that. So I'll get some bit of a darker purple in there. So generally speaking, hills light. The lighter, the farther away they go. Let's get that a little bit lighter there and get some of that in the paint. There. So that's, that's a beginning. So step number two is painting some hills. Step number three, paint a red roof house on the right side and a smaller one on the left side. So I'm going to use my uh, straight brush for the little house. And I'm just going to mix up a red color with the cadmium red light and the primary red and put a house on it in here. It's a little house. Happy little house. My paint's still a little wet underneath, so I may have to go back over that. I'll give it a little chimney. And I'll do a little outbuilding attached to it. Another little red roof here. Later on, I'll go back to that because it's still wet, so it's blending in a bit. And over here, another little house with a red tile roof and another little house attached to it. There. This one should be maybe a little bit higher up. But we can, I can change it a bit while it's, even though it is still wet, a little bit higher. Now I'm going to go to my white and put in Make sure my brush is drier. I may have to paint over it in a little bit, but here we go. We'll just do a little white house here. As you can see, it's this is still quite wet. So later on, we'll go back into that house and paint it in when it dries a little bit. There we go. And this one over here too, with a little side house. Later on, we can put in some little windows. But that's just to help us with the placement of our little houses. All right. There we go. So we've got two little houses in the hills. Add a little bit of the blue in there to delineate the hills a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now step number four. We're going to paint a path from the right house right or winding its way downward like that so for that we'll take a look we'll mix up a purple there's a purple color we can add in some other colors too of course path colors depend on the color of the sky at the time it's always a reflected light so take that path there it's coming by the house 
and it's winding its way down here. There. That's a path. I'm going to add some ultramarine blue in there. And get that path in there. Winding its way this way to the foreground. To the foreground of the painting. This is a path that will lead you into the painting. There we go. It's a little bit wider in the foreground. All right. There. That's our path. Step number five, we're going to paint the fields on both sides of the path a kind of a pinkish color because maybe I'll do a kind of a peachy pink. The soil there has a lot of iron in it. And so often it does have a pinkish color. If you're out in the fields painting the sunflowers, you look down and the, the soil can look kind of pinkish red at times. So that's one field. This is going to be the field of sunflowers on this side. And on the left side, we'll, be, we'll be have a field of lavender. On this side will be the lavender. This is our base color. That's just our base color. There. And on this side, the same base color. Just painting it in. Some of this color will poke through later on which will be just fine. There we go. There, that's the base color of our fields. This is a small canvas, an 8 by 10. You can do the same formula, if you like, on a larger canvas. There's the exact same steps and the same proportion, just larger. And you can have a bigger painting of the Tuscan fields with sunflowers and lavender. There we go. There's our basic blocked in composition of the fields with our path winding its way through the fields. So we can do a little bit of white on that path. There. All right, step number six. We're going to paint in the cypress trees. There's always going to be cypress trees around the houses and in the far hills. So for the cypress tree color, because it's a darker color, I'm just going to do a little bit of mixing. I'm going to mix our thalo blue with our quinacridone red, and that will give us kind of a purpley color. I'm going to add in a little bit of red. And if I add in a bit of yellow, it'll go towards, I was going to say the brown, but that actually looks quite blue. So I'm going to go back into the orange a titchy bit of orange there. So we're just got a nice dark color there. So the, the, the trees around the houses are the cypress trees, and they're just very tall, tall, tall trees with thinner, thinner trunks. They may be for protection from the wind. I'm not sure, but there are always groups of them around the houses. You, you, you see them in little bits in the far off. You see them far away as well, as close up. So this house is going to have some cypress trees around it. This was a slightly wider one. Some people use black. I don't often use black, actually. I um, like to mix up a dark color. And some little trees there. We may add in a few more little houses along the way, too. 
and even in the distance, some far, far away, there's always going to be cypress trees around. Behind the houses, beside the houses, Lots of cypress trees in Tuscan. It's a typical Tuscan scene. Farmhouses, cypress trees, fields. There. We can lighten those trees up later if we find they're too dark. All right. I'm going to go back into the... I'm going to go back into the white. Try and get some of that house back in with the white. Now that it's a bit drier. Okay, but it's a tall house. A little outhouse beside it, a little barn or a little shed attached to it. This one's got a little shed attached to it. Now there may be some other little houses just scattered throughout the hills. You just barely be able to see them. Just maybe where there's some trees there. We'll add some little red roofs in there too. Just just suggestions. Suggestions that there are farmhouses over there. All right. I'm going to lighten up those trees just a little bit. A little bit of orange there. Just, just a little lighten up. So we've got our hills. We've got our houses. We can also put some little windows in our house. So let's go back to that darker color that we had for the trees and let's do a little bit of shading under the eaves. Just do a little bit of shading and then make a suggestion of a window or a suggestion of a door. A little bit over here. Oh, just a little suggestion. Later on we'll get more white in there because I can see that it's still wet. Just a little suggestion. All right, so we painted in the trees, in the houses, and we've got some trees in the far hills. So now we're going to do add just a little bit of green to the hills and a little bit of green just by the houses to suggest just suggest some um, bushes, hedges. So I don't usually buy green. I like to mix my own. So I'm going to mix some yellow light with some cadmium yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue, which will give me an earthy green. There's a, an earthy green. So I'm just going to put in some little bushes around the houses and around the trees. A few little bushes here. And maybe a suggestion of some greenery in the back. I'm going, to add a, I'm going to add a little bit of white to lighten that green. I lightened it quite a bit there. There's a little bit of green there. A little bit of green at the top of the bushes. And at the bottom of the bushes, there's always going to be darker. So I'm just going to... Add a little bit of darker green. Just because there's always going to be a little shadow there. Just at the very bottom. There. I'll get some lighter green on that one too. There we go. Just paint what you think feels good. I'm going to add a few more bushes near those... Um, Near these cypress trees here, I think they'll look good with a few more bushes beside them. Okay, good. So we've got a few bushes in there now. Now we're going to paint in the sunflower heads and lines for the lavender. So the sunflower heads are going to be similar to what we had before in color. We're going to take the orange. And that darker color, we can add a little bit of purple into it. 
And there we have a nice dark color. They're going to be smaller the farther away. Now, so they're just going to be some smaller heads farther away. And as they get closer to the viewer, they're going to get bigger. Heads of the sunflowers are going to get bigger. These are going to be a field. This is going to be a field of sunflowers. I'm going to get that a bit darker. Some phthalo blue. Some red. Kind of a darker brown. There we go. Lots of sunflowers. Now these heads will be covered up a lot by the petals. But the idea is they're going to be larger, going to smaller as they go off into the distance. Smaller sunflower heads. There we go. Now for the lines for the lavender, I'm going to use that green again. I'm going to put in maybe a little bit of red into the green. And I'm going to get some more blue in there. And get a kind of an olivey green. We're just going to start sort of from this little house we're going to start waving lines that are going to be rows of lavender. So we're just going to put them in, they're going to be close and they're far away. And then they're going to come out. Now this is acrylic paint. So don't forget, we can change anything. If we, if we do something that we don't like, that's okay. We can paint right over it. That's the joy of acrylic paint. All right, so we've got suggestions for the, the lines for our lavender. Let's put that one in there. We've got the heads of our sunflowers. And we should, in fact, put in some uh, stems into our sunflowers. So we'll get back into the green color again. Add some white to that, lighten it up a bit, and we'll just arbitrarily do some stems and leaves. They will be mostly covered up, but some of them will be peeking through, so you just get those stems in there. You may have to wait for a little bit to let it let these dry, but you can get some leaves in there, some stems. There, that's the suggestion of the sunflower leaves and stems. They're very tall flowers. There. All right, this may have to dry for a little bit. But here we've got the lines for the lavender, we've got the heads and some greenery. That's step number seven. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit because it's still quite, quite wet. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the lavender because this is drier. So we're going to start with the lavender. And we're going to use deep violet to follow along for the bottom of the lavender bushes. Then we're going to go to lighter violet and then we're going to go to a turquoise at the very top. Where the, it's, it's going to be, um, the plants are going to be lighter as they're at the top of the plant because there's going to be sunlight hitting them. So we're going to start with the deep, the deep lavender and we're going to just, just pretend that we are lavender plants growing all along, all along. So they're going to be deep lavender following the lines, just using the, the brush to make the lav lavender plants are very bushy. So we're just making this very deep violet and there's as the, there they are coming along the lines there we are coming from the distance getting bigger as they come into the foreground That's the deep violet. Now we're going to mix some white with that and come in with a lighter violet. Just right on top. A lighter violet. There we go. There. 
we have a lighter violet there. Just tapping away, making it look like a, a lavender plant. plant. And last but not least, I'm going to mix up a turquoise. I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And then we're, I'm going to mix up a turquoise so that we can have some really bluish bits. So for that, we take our phthalo blue with our white. And we get a beautiful turquoise. Which, if you like, you can also add into some other parts. I'm just going to have a titch, titchy bit of that same turquoise in the hills, and then these bushes too. I like to put the colors around actually. All right, now I'm going to follow the lines of the lavender plants, starting from over by the, the farmhouse. Just making kind of bushy marks with my filbert brush. Following the line. Add a bit more weight to that. Paint isn't quite, well, it's not dry at all. So if, if it were drier you'd have a slightly slightly different effect there okay a bit of blue on the path all right now i'm going to see if this is dry enough to do my I don't think it's quite dry enough. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then come back to it. I could use my hair dryer, but you can see it's still a little bit tacky. And I want to go back in here and get some darker colors in there too, some darker, some darker violet. So I'm just going to stop for a minute. I'm going to go and get my hair dryer. I'm going to dry it and then we're going to carry on. I'll be back in a minute. Hello everyone. I'm back. I used my hair dryer and I dried sunflower field a little bit and I dried the lavender field a little bit. Now I'm going to go in and add a little bit more of the permanent violet just to get some more contrast in with the lavender bushes. I'm following the same lines that we can't see too well right now but we know they're there. We know they're there, so we know that the lavender is coming in in lines because they're planted in rows. So we're just going back in with the darker permanent violet just to get the sense of those rows being back in there. Because we lost a little bit of the dark color. There we go. Now I'm going to go back into that little house with a bit more white to get our house a little bit more white. So we lost some of the white. It was just quite wet. There we go. A little suggestion of a white house. Little farmhouses. There. All right, okay. now I'm going to mix up a little bit more of that medium violet again. There it is there, just add a little bit of the medium violet in again. There. 
that might be just a little bit too light. Darken it up just a bit. And again, I'm going to put in color in the, some of the hills, the same color, some of the distant hills too. All right. And snuggle those little houses into some lavender too. Put some lavender around those little houses as though they're nestled in it. There. Now we're looking at our sunflower field. We're going to start off with cadmium yellow and white. And then we'll go to a lighter yellow on top of it. So I'm going to start with the far off sunflowers, the ones that are near the house, and just kind of make a suggestion of them. Just a suggestion of the yellow. When you see a field of sunflowers, it's just this amazing yellow, those yellow heads looking at you. There. I might get some orange in there too. So I'm working from the ones farthest away into the ones closest. Just lots and lots of lovely, lovely yellow petals. Just fabulous to see the sunflowers. Get some of that yellow over here. Maybe that's a far off field of sunflowers. And some there. I'm going to just move this out of the way for now. Because now I just want to look at the painting and get some, some other touches. So I'm going to take my white. Ooh, there's a little bit of blue in there. Some more white, some pale, or sorry, lap, cadmium light, cadmium yellow light, some more white, so I've got a much lighter yellow now, and then go over the sunflowers with a much lighter yellow. I might even dab in a little bit of orange in there. So you can see the petals are so big that the heads are kind of disappearing, but, but that's all right. Now we might have the odd little petal that's drifted into the lavender field. A little odd little bit of yellow in there. Maybe a stray sunflower has gone in there and just started to grow there. There, and now I'm going to put a little bit of orange into my sunflowers. I can get those all different wonderful colors. I'm using my angled shader brush to get a few lines in there. There, go back into the background a little bit. Maybe some orange on the trees, cypress trees. Let's tone down the dark a little bit. I'm going to add a small amount of the orange into the lavender, not much, just a slight suggestion and I'm going to put a little window in that back into that house we lost one of the windows over there so I'm just going to get a dark color for the window maybe blue and purple there and there that could be a suggestion of a door there's a little shadow under there Little shadow under that eave. Just gonna put a little titchy bit of blue in the sunflowers just for fun. Okay, now one more thing I'd like to do to finish it up, and that's just get a nicer light green going. I'm gonna go into the yellow, add some white, and I've got a very pale green. A little bit of green back in here. We covered up all the green we had. A little bit of green back here. A little bit of green there. Just to show that we're there's some bushes nestling in there. And maybe some bushes up there too. Hedges between the, the fields. Our path has pretty much disappeared. That's all right. There we go. All right. I might add a few fluffy little clouds in the sky. 
to finish our painting off. Our Tuscan scene with lavender and sunflowers. So we have fluffy little clouds, kind of yellowish ones. But I'll tone that down a little bit with my dry brush. Mix them in a little bit. We've got some white that doesn't have yellow in it. And dry brush that, those little clouds in. There we go. Oh, I might put a little bit of white in this path down here. A little bit of white and blue. There. All right, everybody. Here we have it. A Tuscan scene. We started off with our sky, our hills. We went into, you put two little houses in. I might deepen the, the roof on that little house. And uh, we did heads of sunflowers. We did lines for the rose of lavender. And then we went on to our finishing touches. So I'm just going to go back into that little house. The roof is a little bit wet, but I just want to make it a little more red. Just a little. A little more cadmium red because it was quite watery. When it's watery, I kind of lost the little outhouse there too. Let's see, I'll do the back of this one too. That little shed attached to that house. And a little bit of white in here. There we have it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for Paint a Tuscan Scene with Lavender and Sunflowers. I've had a really good time. I've been experimenting as I go along. So that was eight steps. Thank you for following us. And please go to our Two Studios Art YouTube. Click like and subscribe and you'll get all our paintings into your inbox directly into your inbox. And don't forget, a day painting is a good day. Enjoy your painting, everyone. Hope you try this at home. Bye.